The president getting high marks from the American public in the area of national security. But should he? Some Republican leaders think the president's leadership does not live up to that praise. There's only one thing missing now, leadership. It takes leadership that you don't get from reading a poll. You see, Mr. President, real leaders don't follow polls. Real leaders change polls. We have led, when necessary, with the armed might of freedom's defenders. And always we have led from the front, never from behind. No one will lead and there will be chaos. Or someone will fill the vacuum who does not share our values. My fellow Americans, we do not have a choice. We cannot be reluctant to lead and you cannot lead from behind. Congressman Louis Gohmert represents Texas's first district. He says the president's policies are actually doing more damage to our country's credibility than voters know. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning. What do you mean that, that uh, the president's policies are doing damage? Well, for one thing, we turn on our uh, allies, like the Northern Alliance, that fought for us and with us in Afghanistan before this president added so many more troops. And, and they, the administration has thrown our allies under the bus, whether it's in Israel, whether it's in Afghanistan, whether it's uh, allies in, in, in Iraq. We keep turning on those who've been our friends and apologizing and trying to pay off those who've been killing us. And, and you guys have been talking about, are you better off now? And I did not realize this, Allison, until uh, parents of one of our SEAL Team 6 members that were, who was killed after this administration outed SEAL Team 6. Never supposed to do that. This administration did put targets on their back. But those parents uh, of Aaron Vaughn told me that, gee, 70% of those who have uh, been killed in Afghanistan have died in about three and a half years under Obama. That's uh, under Bush, over seven years, 625 uh, Americans killed yeah. in Afghanistan. And then since Obama took over, 1474. Where do you hear that? 70%. And when it comes to the wounded, we've had 2,638 who were wounded under President Bush over seven years in Afghanistan. 14,817 have been wounded under Obama. Where are people talking about that? 84% of the people wounded, 70% of those killed in Afghanistan of American troops have been under this president's and, lack of leadership. Well, and, and yet, you know, the American public uh, mostly believes that the Afghanistan war is president, was President Bush's war, not President Obama's. Let me show you some but, poll numbers that I think I want to get you to respond to because I think that these are interesting. These are yeah. Fox News polls. Which candidate is most to handle foreign policy? President Obama gets 51 percent over Mitt Romney's 38 percent. That is a significant lead. It is, but he has the complicity of the mainstream media. And, and they don't even remind people that Obama actually called this in 2008, the Afghan war, the good war. What kind of guy calls a war a good war? Uh, and, and especially when he's gotten our troops killed and wounded by the thousands. Uh, he's not only leading from behind, he's pushing our troops out in front of them. And, and over and over, our troops from Marcus Luttrell on down have said, it's this president's rules of engagement, not even being able to defend themselves when they're fired upon not even being able to get call in a gunship that can see those who are killing our seals and they can't shoot at them because there may be a civilian in the area. The, our troops need out or they need to be allowed to do what now, it takes to win and come home. Now, on the flip side, of course, the, the American public does give President Obama a lot of credit for uh, issuing the kill order for bin Laden and for getting al Awlaki. with one of the polls that uh, we might show to you also asked from, from uh, Fox News. Who do you trust more on national security? And once again, the president gets a higher number, 48 percent, to Mitt Romney's 40 percent. Well, like me, I didn't know that this president had gotten had more Americans killed under his watch, 70 percent of them in half the time of President Bush. I mean, this is, the American public doesn't know this stuff. Thank God for Fox, where we can get this stuff out and the American public 
uh, may see it. Uh, and, and unfortunately, that's why the, the, uh, so much of the mainstream media keeps losing credibility. Huh. But uh, this stuff's got to get out. Uh, yep. George Washington once said, men used to restraint must be led, they will not be driven. And this president keeps trying to drive our troops out in front of him. That's not leadership. Well, Congressman Louis Gohmert of Texas, uh, thanks so much for coming in and sharing your perspective. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks very much. The White House says it doesn't leak secrets.